Hello, I'm Jeff Hunt and today I'm going to talk about what I've got on my bookcase. Uh, quite a few people have asked me, you know, what sort of books have you got and what do you refer to? So I thought I'd pull down uh, three of the top books that I use very often. Um, all of the links for the books I'm going to show you today are in the links below. <coughs> so if you want to take a look at that, be my guest. And uh, there are more videos on my YouTube channel and the link is also below for that as well. So let's get straight into it. And the first book that I really, really like is one that uh, everybody asked me about and that's Assessing the Age of Buildings. So this is a very good book. Um, so it's by um, Ian Melville and um, Ian Gordon and I use this quite a lot. So the reason I like this one is because it's got lots of um, photographs of the types of buildings. They start from modern buildings and work back to older so this is 1770s 1780s um pretty much from all over the country mainly based in the sort of london southeast area but they've got um a great range of different um shots there so um they also go through into the 1940s 1960s some office blocks there um and uh this one ends at uh 1980s um, there is another edition of this now, I think. So um, on, in the link, um, that is um, the second edition, I think, on the link. And that's about £69, £70. Pounds. So really, really, really good buy. So the other thing people ask me, well, is um, what, what are those? Uh, these, these are my mugs. And these are the um, surveyor's mugs that I've designed. Um, because, we, again, anything that I can't find, I make myself. So I've made these uh, bone china mugs. They're done... Uh, by uh, uh, the the big tomato company make them for me and the, the artist is uh, um, Ali Yanni and and brilliant um, things here so I've got a little tape measure and also there's a little little notebook as well so I use those in my in my tea break um, and, and I really love those so um, my second book is um, by uh, the guys from uh, Yui and this is understanding housing defects uh, Duncan Marshall, Derek Worthing and Roger Heath. Very, very good book. Um, and the reason I like this one is because it's it's very well illustrated and very straightforward language. So trouble with a lot of um, the, uh, defects books um, is that they are really can be quite technical and quite bogged down. But this one really, really does um, sort of get good illustrations. And I really like this one. Again, the link is on the the, the down down below and i think this one is about 65 pounds again i think there is another version of this now uh sort of more up to date but essentially really it's about how to explain things that's that's the key and i, I particularly like that one of course there's also my own book which is residential building defects which unfortunately is not in print anymore but you can get a, D, a, a pdf version of that on my website the last book is a little pocket book really which i carry around with me um this is called the the, the building surveyor's pocket book uh this is about 24 25 pound and i really like these because it's got all the tables in it um it's got all the basic um his retrofit thing so it's all the uh, prompts really that you that you need uh, when you're doing uh, building surveying keep this on site um, quite a lot about professional work as well um, here's a bit about cracking and assessing cracks so really great little sort of fundamental book uh, just to get you going um, some basics here on um, different bytes types of foundations as well so a really really good book to um, be able to take with you and, and a quick reference so that's three of the top books that I've got on my uh, bookcase uh, and if you've liked this video please go to my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe and like and I'll be doing some more of my books uh, later on.